he has a vision to build world class companies from campuses he also believes that the next 10 years will be different will be different from the last 100 years so i am mr suresh nasima hello sir so welcome to the show yeah yeah and where is this beautiful ps campus uh, university in bengaluru uh, why a vc firm like yours operating from an educational institution sir vc by definition needs to look at the future needs to look at 10x growth right you just now you said i believe that next 10 years will be different from 100 years why the 10 years will be different from last 100 years it's because of these bright youngsters we have in this country right so i believe the brightest talent india ever had or india will always have is in the undergraduates right in the universities so there is a great analogy of a painter who tries to paint very fast because he sees there is a lack uh, the loss of color by the time he picks it up from his paint canvas and then takes it to the painting canvas right so i believe that's the analogy that i want to give our brightest talent is in the universities you need to work with them to make bigger things happen in the world if you look at us every alternative great company that you know whether it's google or dell or microsoft or apple were started in the universities right were started by students who were learning there or companies like qualcomm were started by the professors who were there in the campus i think that's an opportunity that we have missed and that's an opportunity that we will really make it very very big over the next decade right that's where i'm here in the yeah. campus and also you are a tech entrepreneur for the last 15 years you built a lot of uh, ventures like telebrahma uh, monkey bar and uh, just books you are also uh, incubating a lot of mentoring a lot of uh, startups so what is the one thing you tell to the startups i think uh, there are uh, two aspects one is to become an entrepreneur and sustain the sustain as an entrepreneur right so i was uh, just talking to you for example you as an entrepreneur has figured out a purpose which is sustainability right and you will run with this irrespective of how much money you make this year or next 10 years right because there is a purpose that you have found you have found a problem that you want to address right it's extremely for every entrepreneur to figure out his purpose or product right to become an entrepreneur that's one part but to become successful as an entrepreneur in terms of the economic sense right in terms of creating value out of your entrepreneurial journey one very very fundamental important thing is pick up a large market right that's where if there is one mistake that i have done many times or if there is a difference between me and many of the other guys who have made lot of for this one is that they picked up the right market right so that's so fundamental when we are working on a good problem when we are when we have a great purpose it's equally important to pick up a great market right and great product that fits into that market right this is where uh, things will start working in your favor right and i have seen one of your uh, interviews that you say first pick up the market then the team and then the idea that's what uh, exactly. the order is exactly. many people do the other way around right no that's the challenge of being entrepreneurs right you start falling in love with your own idea and then you start getting the team who will love that idea then because the team and product are there you will go after a market segment which will love this idea right which is exactly the opposite of what you should have done right always pick up the big market always pick up the big market and then pick the team that can really understand that market then the product solutions etc will automatically come to you right that's uh, if there is one thing that i strongly suggest which will not change even after 20 years will be this message pick your right market a very important message now for all the uh, startups there and also you have a strong opinion that the engineers all the engineers even from this institution have to have a business uh, you know uh, dna in their own blood also because most of the uh, engineers will become obviously the business people in the future so what is that one thing you tell uh, to all the students out there and you also reaching out a lot of university in fact 100 plus universities in india so what is the drive uh, you're talking about reaching out to so many universities no i will uh, add a uh, few reasons one is i fundamentally believe right if you have great capabilities best way to leverage that capability is by becoming an entrepreneur right so if you think you are a great writer become an entrepreneur if you are a great engineer become an entrepreneur if you are a great researcher become an entrepreneur because once you become an entrepreneur no one will come and redirect you in the way in which you don't want to work 
right you will not become a phd provider phd holder and then sit and write some stupid stuff because you are writing your own destiny so it's very very important for bright people in this country to become entrepreneurs see yeah. b the timing was never like this right Three years back, if someone comes to me and asks me, right, should I become an entrepreneur? I used to ask ten questions. I used to discourage him. I used to tell him, boss, you need to think really, really deep whether you really want to become an entrepreneur. But today, timings are different. There is enough money in the country, right? So there is enough money chasing the great ideas, right? There are enough way to generate revenues for the companies, right? And we have seen how some of the companies have really built the revenue, right? Uh, this one so there is a great opportunity here so today if you are a bright guy and if you are not thinking of becoming an entrepreneur you are doing huge injustice to yourself your talent and the society in which you are living in and most importantly the country that has nurtured you so much so it almost becomes a becomes your moral responsibility to become an entrepreneur today if you are talented yeah and also you are also very passionate about sustainability you have a lot of sustainability which is supporting directly or indirectly and the buzzword is also sustainability these days and nourishing uh, the young minds saying that okay sustainability is here to stay it's not only about survival about you know environment and surroundings but your own self how do you tell this uh, the next generation that listen hey there is a lot of opportunity in sustainability entrepreneurship to so start working from now onwards how do you reach out that message to the students so there are uh, in fact i will never come from the perspective of what is good for the world etc I'm, i'm i'm i will make it very very simple what is good for you as students right so or what is good for you as youngsters right see today you can't build any premium consumer product without having the story around sustainability right so go and look at any product any premium product which is extracting premium in the market their packaging talks about sustainability right so if there is one most important aspect of any successful consumer product company in the world in last 10 years it's going to be sustainability sustainability in terms of production in terms of packaging in terms of their own operations in terms of their own distribution so any idea that you have think about it from the sustainability angle because that makes lot of business sense to you right and once you say you are sustainable you understand premiumness then there is much better chances that vc money will chase you that's one thing second one right the second aspect of uh, whole sustainability is in terms of production energy efficiency creating alternate energy channels or addressing the pollution issues etc these are very very hard problems right if once you figure out the great way to make the energy optimization happens and once you figure out a great solution to reduce the pollution etc there is lot of dollars floating in the market to address those solution right these are hard problems for a moment i am not saying these are the trivial solutions in fact i discourage people who will find a trivial solutions and say that they just do an si and want to make it very big no please go back think hard build solutions that world will be proud of what you have built right then you will see the real opportunities happen right that's where i think sustainability is interesting because a it is required and b it gives you ample opportunities to innovate are the two reasons yeah. and uh, that was uh, suresh nasima thank you for speaking to smart sustain uh, i wish you all the best uh, thanks, to thanks. reaching out to all the universities thank thanks, you thanks 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 thanks